Okay, hello and welcome to part two of the cycle. I don't know what I've titled this video yet, but uh, I'm just going to call it part two because I know this will be from the uh, Crombie Country Park. I'm going to cycle back to Maniki Country Park. From part one, I cycled from Maniki to Crombie. And this is part two, so I'm cycling back from Crombie Country Park back to Maniki and I will do the same sort of format as I did for the first part. This is just experimental videos, I have not done this before. If you want to, if you're just watching this part, it might be a good idea to watch part one first and you'll get a much better idea of what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to get on with it.
a wee breather uh, just for a couple of minutes, a minute not even a minute, about 30 seconds 30, 40 seconds breather a wee swig in the juice <coughs> cycling against the wind
point. Stop for another rebreather. 30 seconds or something. Well, it's about 20 seconds. 15 seconds even. That was all, just about 15 seconds stop then. <coughs> weather, good weather. Touch it back one and a half mile. I'm going to cycle through Maniki, which comes to Maniki Country Park on the way down. So I'm going through Maniki and then uh, eventually end up at the park. As you can see the back on the left, that's the embankment to the Maniki Country Park Reservoir. Just, on the, just up ahead on the left, you can see the back. The embankment to the, the reservoir, which is on the other side. Effectively going round the park. Effectively cycling round the country park. Let me just stop here for a second. Gives me a chance to break up the files, so if one file's bad, it doesn't wreck the whole lot, you just do them in multi files. Yeah. And it gives an excuse for a wee breather. So it also gives me a chance to take off my jacket because it was getting a little bit warm so I should feel a wee bit cooler now because I've got my 
But anyway, well, I've got had my, my jacket on, and, and I was just getting a little bit warm, so I just literally got my shirt on now. I feel a lot fresher and cooler. And I was sweating a bit because it was cycling against the wind on the way down there. Dongji walk to the park on the left, go back to the street. The transmitter mast on the right, the distance is the no for transmitter mast. Should it used to be called something else? Apparently it's always been that. This is very strange because I've been issued this. Mandela effect, but I've certainly experienced many Mandela effects before anyway, so I'm kind of suspect that it could be. It never used to be called the Forfeit Transmitter Master, it was called something else. It's not difficult to remember now. That's why I remember, ironically. If it was called the Forfeit Transmitter Master, we'd remember it quite easily. Is that? It's not something else. But seemingly, it's always been that proper transmitter must suggest to me that it could be a Mandela Anyway, that's another video. I've done videos on it before. Oh, oh dear. Slight like gradient. The road always get busy, and when it's busy, it's always traffic from behind me. Swords of war. Oh, I'll just end with Maniki now.
So we're in country, uh, Maniki Country Park now. Just literally came in. There was other entrances, but I decided to come back to the same one that I came out of earlier when I went up to Trombay Country Park in part one of the video. So I'll go towards the reservoir. Because Maniki Country Park's also got the reservoir as well. And yes, I cheated. I brought the car to take me here. I wasn't going to cycle for me to sell here. Seriously, Jake, I was going to do that. <laughs> no, I've got my bike car here on yes, so I cycle to the house for me in Dundee. Me to sell, from me to sell in Dundee to here. And I just took the bike off the car here and then the side of the bowl. Right, so I've arrived at Maniki Country Park and the round, overall round distance was 7.3 mile something like uh, 3.15 mile each way from Maniki Country Park to Crombie Country Park so it's a 7.3 mile round trip certainly the route I took, I went via Maniki on the way back right now in part 1 I started from here and I just took the the route directly to Crombie and then uh, in this part, part two, I came from Crombie to here via Moniki, which probably added on another, another mile or three quarter mile. I can't remember what it was when I got there from the first time. It's on the video, I'll just check back in part one. But anyway, that's the end of part two, so I'm going to have to watch my time. I'm going to make part three very quickly and just going to use uh, part three, will just be going to cycle around the reservoir and just a wee bit along to the park, not that far because it's a lot of time and that'll be part three so I'm gonna have to, to get on there okay so that's the end of part one hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and look up for part three which will be put up very soon